James Palms here. Yeah, so this is gonna be a bit of a home vlog this time. So we're doing all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna see my wife making fun of me here, holding a stick. Might leave this part in or not. Beautiful day today. We got the windmill flower in here behind me. I might even take a walk down by the river. Get my cunt drive. Uh, my kid's gonna drive his car around. We got a remote control car. We're gonna take for a little cruise. Check out some fish maybe in the river. Um, there's a uh, rainbow trout there streaming uh, down the stream every day. So we're just gonna check it out. This is a different video I'm trying out something seeing if uh if people like it i might try to edit a little better let's just see what happens here uh see if we have a fun day easter I'm trying to make different content well i got time and well uh you guys got time to watch it so uh all right let's uh let's do this we got the flowers coming out here this is my male windmill here Kids really screaming here. Oh. Another flower stalk. This year it only has two. I think it has four or five of these. These are the seedlings here. Those are the little seedling Washingtonias that I put in. Got lots of loops and things coming up. There's the other one. Some of the leaves are getting a little burned. There's been quite a bit of frost. I believe that's frost damage right there. Still looking good though, still growing, still growing good. Let's go around front here. Oh yeah, got some crocuses. Looking good. Windmill looking good. Little hybrids looking good. So much more stuff coming up. More crocuses. I don't know what those flowers are called, but those ones are done. We got. Well, they're not done, but we got more coming up. Looking good. All right, Owen, you ready to do this? Grass is looking good. Beer's looking cold. You ready? Yeah. Well, this is the RC car. We're gonna take it out for a little spin here. This is, uh, my buddy gave it to me. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty serious. It's got a lot of uh, power and torque. You'll see in a minute. We gotta put the battery in first and then we'll put the cover on and uh yeah we're gonna check this out you're gonna see this thing in a minute all together just charging up the last battery it's all good to go all right you ready oh and let it rip all right. low oh whoa, whoa. oh i think you destroyed it oh right, here we go Just uh, putting some soil in the cups here. Got all kinds of stuff here. Might be a little bit boring, I guess, to watch, but I just thought it's Easter. Kids are playing around. Um, it's Easter Sunday, a beautiful day. It's about, I don't know, plus 15 today, something like that. I don't know what you're seeing here because it's super sunny. I can't really see, but figure we'll plant and all kinds of stuff. We got dill. We got, this is like a dollar store kit too. It comes with a little dome and everything. We got beans, green beans. We got some peppers that I've harvested, different kinds of peppers. We got some tomatoes these are different kinds of tomatoes we get some that just come up naturally too the cherry tomatoes come up naturally we got a girl agula argula uh what do we got here i don't know what the hell that is i got some of these from my uh, brother-in-law i got some cucumbers all kinds of stuff and then in a minute too i'm going to show you guys how to do this we got a big this has been sitting for two days in water this is just about i don't know maybe a thousand uh trechycarpus seeds this is an old lettuce uh, an old salad container. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna float them in water. 
and I'm going to drain some of the water out and I'm going to throw in some soil and we'll see what happens if I just leave that like that uh, exactly basically just like this with the lid on and everything I think that's going to work pretty good uh, for, for germinating some windmill palms from the palm behind me here this one I don't know if you can see it in the light here I can't really see what you're looking at I'm probably not going to do this all on here but I'll start off with some maybe green beans or I need to actually start off with some peppers first. Let's put a couple of peppers in each one here. A couple of these guys. I put more than one seed in each spot too. And just see what happens. If you uh, can always just weed out the ones you don't like if they don't do as good. I don't even know too. Some of these pepper seeds, they won't all be viable because sometimes when you get peppers from the grocery store, they're too, uh, they're too, they're picked too early so that the seeds aren't mature enough. I don't think that's the case with these ones because some of them I got myself, but I like to pick them early. We'll see what happens here anyways. That might be enough for peppers. That's probably enough. Got a pencil to write on plastic. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but. I'm probably gonna pause this video here and I'll do some more and I'll show you. This is gonna be a little boring just to watch me plant all these seeds, especially if I got nothing cool to say. Sometimes I do when I'm warm when I'm talking to people. I got some cooler stuff to say but right now. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. I lost the pencil. I'm just gonna pause this here though, guys. We got uh, some of our seedlings here from this year. We gotta repot some of these. This is my largest ones right there. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. You don't have to stay here. Basically all I did here was I basically just put a whole bunch of dirt in there with the seeds, drained the water, I rinsed it out once, then drained the water, and then the seeds were still soaking wet, and then I threw the dry uh, potting mix in and just shook the heck out of it uh, and just tossed it around my hands a bit, and now I'm closing it back up, and then I'm just going to put this inside, and that'll pretty much be it. This will be... Uh, they should start popping out of here. Uh, we'll see how many. There's thousands of seeds in there. So we'll see what happens here. I gotta water this one. You can always tell when the washies need water, they start hanging the lower leaves, especially they get droopy. So we need some water. All right. Oh, that was funny. We busted the hell out of the car. Here's a crayfish. Owen, here's a crayfish. <laughs> Don't go in the water. Where's the crayfish? Right there. On top of a rock. See him? Yes, I see it. He's cruising around. He's cruising. He's got about a six foot wingspan on that guy. Austin, is that a giant bird? The snake. Some beautiful daffodils here. Of course, it's probably later than they normally are, but nevertheless, still beautiful. Can't remember what these are. Put in the comments if you know what they are. Cool daffodils here, all coming out. Sun just went behind a cloud. Kids are screaming as always. These are the Rows of Sharon, the hibiscus bush here. These are massive ones here. They're late, late. They don't get their leaves for a long time. And then when they do, they don't start blooming till almost August. But they are beautiful. They're full of hibiscus flowers. Every one of those dried up little things right there will be a flower. It'll be more, actually, because it'll be growing more. Oh.
the water, make sure you keep watering even after it runs at the bottom. Good habit. Keep it going. Get your crazy place with her. This is my 1986 Camaro. It's my first car. Just sits here, waiting for its turn to come back out. I do start it once in a while. I have taken it for quite a few drives, but in the later years, those drives become few and far between. It's got bird poop on it. I just thought I'd show this. It was my very first car, I bought it when I was 17. This was a different video here. Different. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Of course, you go behind the clouds. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Hey, guys, I just thought I would include this. Today, it's around 6 o'clock right now. See, the sun's getting lower. Uh, it was a windy high today of 20 degrees. It's about 6 right now, and it's 18 degrees outside still. As you can see right there, 23 inside, 18 outside. I just brought it outside, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, not quite summer, but pretty, uh, pretty dang close. Uh, almost summer temps. Here now we're starting to have uh, pretty steady. The cat likes it. She's having a ball. This is windows open, shorts, t-shirt, and uh, I got sunburned today. So, yeah, there's my uh, washi. Just gorgeous, full sun, 100% sun, windy, but, uh, well, not, not really windy, but just gusts coming in, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. I had a guy come over from YouTube today, and I sold a bunch of palms, so uh, just a gorgeous day. I got lots more to replace that. This is, uh, summer is basically here now. Not, not full-blown summer, but it isn't far off. I just got this last box to take down. Um, I was just taking my time doing it, but just beautiful. It was an awesome day today. Just thought I'd include a little more. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.